Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, or at least my uh, last Harry Potter Throwback Thursday review. Well, will I do some more in the future? Well, we'll see. Okay. So, so this is which being of the Hogwarts Express from 2010, of course. So on the front of the book, the two manuals get the two logos in that order from the 2010-11 range. And picture of the set that there is, kind of representing the scene in Chamber of Secrets, of course, and set number 4841. Back on first manual is add for the years 1 through 4 game, and last step of the engine. And second manual, which a little thinner, add for the online survey. And add a Lego club and a large promotional poster with some of the other sets from then. And then large ad for the uh, Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts board game set that there was and some of the features of it. And the pieces that come with the set, of course, in the last step. First off, so for the mini figs included with this one. As we which have Harry Potter in the uh, dark blue jacket appearance, which does come in a few other sets in this wave, of course, and also Ron Weasley, which exclusive printing to this one, of course. And also have Ginny Weasley, which also, well, probably, which did come in a couple other sets from this wave, of course, but the next of which is Draco Malfoy, of which some nice printing to him, of course, same as from a couple other sets, of course, and last of which is our first appearance of Luna Lovegood, to, at least, well, for first version and as you see leg printing representing the glitter skirt of which but whereas in the 2018 collectible minifig series kind of made that as an actual piece kind of quite neat and all but nice to do that and of course all of which holding the bar pieces for the wands at least and of course using the regular legs instead of the mid legs since it's before that and the and if we look at each of their uh, double side faces, which all of them have, and of course, Luna's a witch, well suiting to her. Uh, oh, what was Okay, you see, Luna's a witch have done quite interesting with those interesting glasses that there are, which also the 2018 CMF series series version also had. And besides that, also good selection of fig mini figs include to include this one. But at least big horse do get exclusive version of Ron obviously and also the only exclusive it being Luna Lovegood, of course. And also what you get in this set along with the uh, Hogwarts Castle set from this time is this first version of an invisibility cloak, which is this cloth piece and of course quite glittery and whatnot, which quite interesting. And of course, like in the movie, you can put it over a fig, obviously. Well, if they, if they have much free room, of course. Yeah, like that. But at least also the pajama Harry pod, pajama Harry that did also come in the uh, 2018 minifigure series did have that other version, later updated version of the invisibility cloak, of course. But at least this is good to see for now, obviously. And so now for 
little tiny accessories, or just accessories are these little plates or traditional plates or tiles that have stickers on them and boxes with the wands in them, of course. And also the traditional classic wrap piece and a pair of keys and a couple of round suitcases and also the clip or tile of which showing Harry on it, obviously. And of course, which did also appear in the Burrow set, of course, but also kind of nice, but yeah. And also do you get a little treasure chest box, or chest piece, which of course has the classic spider and white owl representing Hedwig, of course, and flip open, and do you get a pair of diamonds in clear and red, and also wands in pink and yellow, of course. Or trans pink and yellow, obviously. Yeah. And also get this little uh, food cart for one thing, for it, of course. Like, and of course a stickered doorway that says Honey Dukes on it, obviously. And of course the classic frog piece in brown representing a chocolate frog. And also do you get the Daily Prophet. I would say mass break mass breakout from Azkaban, of course. So yeah. And next to it, is we get uh, the enchanted car, of course. Which, as you can see, kind of similar to the 2018 and 20 versions that we've previously had, and yeah. But quite updated from the classic 2002 version from the Escape Privet Drive set, obviously. And so, like for the front of which does have that interesting piece used for a grill, of course, and also those pieces for the bumper, of course. And also good shaping with the slopes in this part of which, and for the back of which, good use of these pieces here and of course it can flip open and there's of course black suitcase piece you can put in although I think they could have included an extra string to hang out of which although that'd be too much to copy from the privet drive set but and there wasn't even a privet drive set in this wave of of course but whatever and also what what also could have been nice is have the top part have a couple of leaf pieces for it when it crashes into the Whomping Willow, of course. And also, do get the wheel piece, these little wheel pieces done in silvery, quite nice. And of course, can pop this open. And of course, and also do get plenty of extra space, quite a bit of space in there, like couple of tiles and enough uh, sitting room enough to fit a fig and uh, fit your Ron fig into a course oh well both Ron and Harry into a course but besides that a quite good build for this little car of course yeah. so now on to sections of the Hogwarts Express itself Starting out with the locomotive, of course. To which, as you can see, is kind of similar to the last two versions, but of course the 2018 version, major update, of course. And of course, and this which does have proper shaping to it. And of course, still using those jagged slopes that the 2001 version kind of had. But whereas for the front part of which, which does say Hogwarts Express and that number and 10 for whatever reason and also from bumper piece like we see on most train sets of course and on the sides of which some good railing to there and of course it's a good use of, of jumpers up there probably so you can stick the owl pieces on too if you want and yeah and for the back cabin piece 
which has not much going on for it, but it's, there's a little thing that you can grab onto and have a pair of trans orange and black stud there to, of course, represent burning coal, obviously. And stick it in and stick the Exoforce hands down like so. And also a little tile with a couple of dials on it. And also, like other versions, is not at all any, uh, what are they call a uh, coupling ring, coupling liners, or coupling rods, of course. There's that. Make it feel like a regular steam train, which, but of course, the 2018 version really got that fixed, but yeah. And that is it with that. And now, onto the like coal car or otherwise uh, tender, of course. Which, as you can see, says Hogwarts Express on it and word symbol there. And of course, same wheels pieces as other ones also do. And also have gray owl piece there and of course, a couple of studs on top to represent coal, of course, and can like flip open and there's some empty space in it, which on the box and a couple of set pictures on brick set and everything says that you can put all these accessory pieces into, which I usually do. I wish. And of course, a couple of rods behind there and. Oh, what else is there? Not much. And also, of course, can like magnetically attach together, also like other versions, and most some train sets do. In the and now, onto the main car, of course. Oh, it's quite good build to it. Oh, it's also similar to the other versions, but also. But although you can add those, this and the others, to the uh, current 2018, uh, Hogwarts Express, of course, to extend upon it, and you know, just saying, obviously, and yeah. And of course, the like wheel part of, of which quite similar to other versions, and of course, on the engine itself, of course, and also some plenty of those window pieces and the frames in black, in red, of course, and. Also the Hogwarts symbol there, of course. And just a window. Although I think a, a door could have been neat. Been a little, could have added more, but whatever. And, and of course, the like, uh, roof part of which does have a few tiles and jumpers there. Probably to add some other things to it. And of course, brown owl piece there. If I lift it up, which not attached to any studs, which, but of course the plates on there do kind of help with support, and yeah. And it have a little bit of seating and extra room for it, so you can add others' accessories and the cart onto a course. But besides that, also red jumper in there, of course. You do have a gold cup and probably a milkshake or something, but yeah. So, okay. And so now you can like attach all these together, but also still not, of course, not motorized, not like the uh, second 2004 version, but at least it's all right. Or unless if you could figure out how to motorize it for your train displays, but yeah. Let's let me get these all together. So overall, I think this is which a pretty good version of the Hogwarts Express and also quite a cool one, even though 
maybe about kind of the same as like previous couple versions, but I can kind of forgive this one. And of course, the exclusive versions of Ron, nice to include, and also Luna Lovegood, great to include in this set, of course. And of course, cheaper way of getting the invisibility cloak, also good one. And yeah. But even though it may not have much to offer like the uh, later versions also did, but I can kind of forgive it, but yeah. And for this being my last Harry Potter Throwback Thursday of which, you probably might be wondering like, what about Goblet of Fire sets or, and, or whatever? Well, those of which worth a lot on the secondary market BrickLink and whatnot, but if I ever find them for a good price anywhere, well, I might do so in the future. Well, will I ever do so? Who knows? But, you know, we'll see what happens. And will I ever do any more Harry Potter Throwback Thursdays? Well, I don't know. Well, you know, we'll see what happens. So what So what next next Throwback Thursday is? Well, let's wait and see. Let's see. And that's about it. But any of you still have this set from back in the day? Well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to this set, I'd say definitely get it. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.